So, Seeds, why the fuck you had to tell everybody you fucked Miss Kitty? Why? That made the situation so much worse. Y'all, everybody finds out that Seeds went home with Miss Kitty, but they didn't know they fucked just yet, okay? But they still worried about this because, yet again, we do not want another Duchess situation on our hands, okay? Now, we find out that Sky and Caesar live close to each other, okay? He is upgraded to an apartment in the sky, okay? And got off that ground-level shithole he was staying in with Duchess, okay? All of these plethora of new bitches coming over got to be able to see this view, all right? And in that view is Sky's apartment. <clears throat> They're going to be staying close to one another now, and that's a little bit scary for all of us. But anyway, while there, she asked him about what the fuck happened with Miss Kitty in the car. I heard you went home with the bitch. Then he was like, yeah, I fucked her. Oh, wait, no, shit. I didn't mean to tell you I fucked her. And it's like, yeah, but you told her you fucked. I thought you knew. What the fuck, sees? You deny, deny, deny. That's why, this is why I knew that she wasn't cheating on Duchess like that. Because you don't have the deny, deny, deny thing. You don't have that, okay? Like, <laughs> Stevie and them got that. Will lie until, until the death of them. They will never admit it. <laughs> okay? That's not you. Okay? That was, that was my phone. Everybody calm down, okay? Because y'all know it. Some, and one little noise. Did you fight? No, bitch. I'm not fighting during the videos. And if I was, I'd edit it out. <laughs> Wouldn't leave it to be up for conversation. The fuck? Anyway, y'all, somebody commented and said that one time. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think. Like, no, I didn't. I don't recall. <laughs> anyway, y'all, A1 comes in. Y'all, that's the struggle face girl, okay? I don't know why she here, because Teddy not here. That's what Melody told her, all right? Melody real like being in the chest on some shit all of a sudden. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, whatever, okay? Like, I don't get me wrong. I don't totally dislike her, but the way she dick rolled uh, against Tiffany and Four Sky when that shit went down at the cabin, that pissed me off, okay? And then just other little things, you know, that she said, I all wrong with you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Your choice in men. Fuck wrong with you, bitch. But you know what? That's not my business. Okay, that is not my business. Either way, I am in agreement with you that I do not like A1 in her struggle face. I don't like this bitch neither. I don't feel like she needs to work at the shop either. But I don't think that was cool the way you told her to get the fuck out since she didn't have a client. I thought that was kind of fucked up. Everybody else sitting in that motherfucker ain't got no clients. You ain't telling them to go the fuck home. I'ma just go ahead and say it. That was kind of fucked up. Okay, but y'all know A1 stay sauce, bitch. She don't give a fuck. Okay, she ain't got no face to save. So she gonna get all in yours and dare you to hit hers. And if you do, she gonna eat it and then lick your ass right back. That's what it looked like to me. I don't know if Melody's a fighter, but bitch, I don't think you was ready for that little, <laughs> that little pit bull. Okay, so Kevin grabs her ass and takes her out. And that's that. No more A1. She's fired. Then DMX has a birthday party. Now, y'all, let me tell y'all something, okay? I love DMX, okay? It, like, in a real way. Like, in a real way, got love for DMX. But would really love for him to stop running into death so hard. Like, nigga, you look, what is going on? I know you old, but goddamn, you and Jay-Z Jay has to be, you and him have to be around the same age. Why do you look like his grandfather? What is going on, DMX? What happened to the moisture, my nigga? You can't... Y'all, oh my God, I didn't like to see him like that. It's like when you start looking like that because of your lifestyle, you need to go the fuck home, okay? Your birthday don't need to be in the club, <laughs> all right? But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and let that go. Kitty is there on one side, and Sky friend uh, Alex is on the other side. And he's floating, flirting with both of them, floating between two of these bitches. Dick hard on this one, dick hard on that one, okay? It's all very messy. Kitty peeping the scene, and she, you know, feel like I'm going to have to check this nigga sooner or later for this shit. Oh, yeah, good head Ryan was there, too, from Chicago. He was there. What's up? Um, Everybody was having a good time, you know, being, you know, being cute with both bitches, whatever. Later on, him and Miss Kitty go to lunch. And she takes this opportunity, stupidly if you ask me, to tell him that, you know, it needs to be straightened out that his other f female friends are just platonic. And I'm like, mm, excuse me, I'm like, bitch, what? You just fucked him one time. Are we not adults? Are we not adults? Like, why are y'all fucking people that y'all work with? That is so messy. That is so not cool. I know they got people that do that all the time, okay? It's, it's all well and good when a fry girl fucks the cashier, okay? But then when they throwing fries and quarters back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Hitting a girl, flipping the burgers in the fucking head, then it's a problem. I'm trying to tell y'all something, okay? This shit causes issues, okay? I'm trying to tell you something. What 
fuck wrong with y'all? I cannot understand why he was going to fuck her. Why she, being so misclassy, will fuck him. But that's because bitches always, if they're going to see a come up, they're going to see a come up. I don't think this is the same situation as Duchess, but it's still a, it's still a situation of I got the dick and I'm coming up. <laughs> and that's just what it is, bitch. Um, he tells her that he and Allison are just friends when she asks him, you know, about the whole friend thing. And it pisses me off because I'm like, why you ain't just keep it 100 with her, see? Why you ain't just say, I don't know if we really, I mean... I ain't really know your business, really. Like, you could have said that to her. And if she ain't like it, oh, well. Or you could have nicely said her, look, I just got out of a five-year relationship. And right now, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm playing the field. I'm trying to see what the field can bring to me. <laughs> okay? And, and, and that don't mean that I'm going to be all for you. Now, I can promise you that when we together, I'm for you. But when we not together, I'm not for you. And it's just like that. And if you can't fuck with it, then we need to just go back to being boss and employee. You know what I'm saying? But you know how you fuck up? Because a bitch can sue you, sees? That's what I'm trying to tell you, nigga. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. So, y'all, look. Then explosive shit happened. Explosive shit. All right. So, some random chick, some random healthy-mouthed chick comes into the shop, okay? And she like, can I speak to Richard? And I'm like, fuck calling this nigga Richard. <laughs> Stop calling this nigga that, okay? And <clears throat> she just begins to run it. You know what I'm saying? Like, run it, run it. She tells us that Nikki is a liar. She's been lying to everybody. She's, you know, living a double life. That she has a two-year-old son that she left in October of 2015. That she has a habit of, you know, having children with men and then leaving them. Okay? And then it's kind of happy once you get the two and that's what you've done. Okay? And we're looking at Richard. And Richard, all Richard's saying is... That's it. I'm going to text Nikki. <laughs> okay? And then Nikki gets there, and the first thing Nikki does is come through the door swinging. So we know the bitch was telling the truth. Okay? The bitch ain't done yet because it don't really look like Nikki was doing anything but mushing her. <clears throat> the girl got Polaroid pictures that she got developed at Walmart. And she started throwing them out into the air. Here, look at that, bitch. Pictures. Poof. Like that. Right? So then, Walt and sees like... But then, oh shit, dumbass. What are you doing? You know what? Why does everybody keep checking me about my wife? She's my wife, okay? She doesn't have to explain herself to anyone but me, okay? Who cares, okay? I know about my wife. You don't have to know about my wife. She doesn't have to tell you the truth. Oh my God, okay? It's my wife. Come on, Nikki, let's go. He threw water in that girl's face. He threw water in that girl's face, picked up his old lady wig, and grabbed her and told her to come on get in the fucking car. Meanwhile, they outside, and the girl screaming at her, and she's screaming, I don't know you, Diana. I don't know you. <laughs> it's like, you don't know her. You just said her name. Apparently, Diana's the babysitter. Diana has babysitted both babies, and just wants y'all to know how to kind of her heart that this bitch is fraud, Okay. Diana, bitch, you got more balls than me. I sent an email. I ain't coming over there. <laughs> nah, not for you to come from behind me like that, bitch. Mm -mm. Unless you're going to, you know, do a Donna and slam that bitch on the floor or some shit like that. I don't know. But all I know is I do not like old shit even more now. Uh, thank you, Nikki. I didn't think I, you know, yeah, I possibly could have. Because I ain't really never disliked him. I just always thought he was a slow nigga that needed a little help. You know what I'm saying? And, and now... Something ain't right about this bitch. And the way this all of this went down, I was just like, yeah, my nigga, you fucked up. <clears throat> you fucked up, dude. And now together, y'all a fucked up couple reiterating fucked upness through each other. You know what I'm saying? Like making it okay for, for each other to be fucked up. And, and I don't know how good that is. And then sees and Walt talking about how the bitch pregnant. And I'm like, yeah, but she came in here full speed ahead trying to fucking fight somebody, but she pregnant. All right. See, so say he done. I ain't talking to the bitch about shit no more, okay? And he talking about old shit. <laughs> I ain't talking to the motherfucker about nothing no more, okay? It is what it is. He want to be with the, the crazy bitch that's lying to him. Let him be with the crazy bitch that's lying to him. Hey, hey, maybe he knows she left her kids. Maybe he don't give a fuck because that's what he do too. They both leave their kids together, okay? They walk into the sunset leaving their harem of children behind them together. Thank you very much. They be moms and dads come together and have more children that you. What you do when you, when y'all stay together? Like, what do you do? <laughs> like, would y'all just leave the baby with a with a family member and skate off or some shit like that? Here's baby. Like, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't fuck with y'all right now. I'm sorry. Um, 
Melody goes to see Lalo, okay? Y'all know Lalo, uh, Lalo, whatever fuck his name is. It's her boyfriend. They had a fake-ass commitment ceremony, but I'm going to call him her boyfriend. Um, Her baby daddy, whatever, you know, whichever you prefer. I'm going to say baby daddy. That's better. Okay, so she goes to his shop. <clears throat> And he has a tattoo place, and you know, he's already had a bad day, okay, this didn't work, and then this didn't work, and he lost his book bag, and then, you know, he couldn't pay this, and da 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 and da da and I look dirty, and whatever. And she tells him that, you know, hey, don't stress out about it, and it's like, bitch, why are you going to say that to him? Why you ain't ask what you could do? <laughs> that was, that's what you should have said, well, look, I'm, you know, I'm going to get the baby in a minute, but, you know, you need me to do something right quick for you, you know, you need, I can sweep something right fast, or, you know what I'm saying, like, you need me to help you with something right quick? That's what you say. You don't say, don't stress out about it. Like, that's because people are going to stress out about their fucking business. So, just saying that is just stupid to me. Anyway, so she starts to talk about how she wants to be the manager at 113. He's like, you want to be the manager? Why? So, you, well, you get a little nameplate that says manager and, and you grow two inches? What happens? What, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You want to be a manager? Why you want to be a manager? For? You can't even manage our family. What are you going to do? Okay, you can even manage our family. Did you, when, when, did you get the baby's insurance change? No, what are you gonna do? That? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be a, you gonna be a manager? What are you gonna do? And y'all, I'm just sitting up here like this dirty ass motherfucker actually got the nerve to be talking to her like this. And it comes to you know to everybody. Okay, all us watching. You know, it sinks in that he wants to treat her like an old school wife, but doesn't want to marry her like an old school husband. Very confused by this. I'm very confused. You got with her because y'all were free flowing and fucking tree hugging and doing drugs and shit. And now, you know, she's become a mother, you're a father, and you want to try to block her dreams and shit and want her to sit at home with, with the kid, but you don't want to marry her. <laughs> Girl, you dumb as fuck. Anyway, moving along, y'all. Young Bay wants Kevin's dick. I'm here for it. Um, Melody does a goddess tattoo in order to deal with the emotion from Lalo and his, you know, unwillingness to support her. And the tattoo was fire as fuck. Just gotta say, tattoo was beautiful, okay? It basically was Beyonce on this bitch's arm, okay? Surrounded by flowers. It was gorgeous. Anyway, Seas comes in with Kit. Tells 113 that Kit is going to brand Ambassador over here. Okay, she coming over here to help y'all do things a little bit more like we do at 125th. Okay, he says, y'all listen to her. Whole time, Sky's up there like, yeah, we gonna listen to her, right? Because <laughs> that's what she does for you. <laughs> it's very disrespectful, okay? And Walt is pissed off too. And I don't understand why y'all haven't made Walt a manager yet. He's the only one that's not getting into fights all the time. And, I mean, yeah, that nigga be so loaded all the time. But... You can be loaded and ask phones. I'm sure. Anyway, so, <laughs> especially at a tattoo parlor. So, I mean, I don't understand why they never give Walt the step up that they so willing to give to Teddy's ass. Now, if somebody was in the comments talking about Teddy's drug money is what helped C's open the business. I said, well, get this nigga his money and buy him the fuck out and move on. Because ain't nobody got time to be giving their cousins who don't give a fuck. Who ain't never had to shop management positions. That's just fucking stupid. Okay? Anyway. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what nobody's talking about. If you ain't going to do good by my business, what the fuck am I giving you the opportunity for? Okay? Get an opportunity to somebody who wants that shit. They got a whole bunch of people that ain't your fucking friends, that ain't your family members, that need jobs, that will work their ass off for you. Okay? That's stupid. So when C's leaves, this, leaves you know, them to talk with Kitty and everything, the shit gets worse because Sky starts going in on how he say, you know, I'm, I'm not a hand jobber. We know you fuck. Him. We know you fucked him, bitch. We know you fucked him. You ain't nothing but a little duchess, okay? And then, what, what, what? Because basically, uh, he signs your checks and you give him sex. He signs your checks and you give him sex. He signs your checks and you give, like... Y'all want me to be bucked up and laugh at that shit. But I thought it was fucked up and very juvenile. And Walt was joining in and then and, and Bay is laughing. And I ain't gonna lie, it would have took a lot out. It would have took a lot for me not to try to hit that bitch with something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I can't stand motherfuckers trying to humiliate me and shit. Like I can't stand that shit. Don't do that. But that's also why you don't fuck your boss. <laughs> so that people can't do shit like that to you. I mean, cause that's the only way, you know, you be able to psh. And even then, and not me, I'm stupid though. I'd have been like, yeah, I fucked the man and giving me checks. So I'm two for one, bitch. Like, I get a check and some dick. Why are you upset about it? <laughs> okay, why are you upset about it? Didn't you get your badge just like my badge, bitch? You're a 
pussy hopper. <laughs> okay? You're a pussy hopper. Stop worrying about my pussy. Hop off mine and get back on yours, bitch. And, I mean, Kitty did eventually say, y'all need to stop worrying about what the fuck I'm doing and worry about what the fuck y'all need to be doing to keep this raggedy-ass shop open. Yeah, she, she basically told him that, but Sky leaves. See, it has another announcement dinner, okay? Everybody's there, and Sky brings um, Allison because she, I might have been calling the bitch Alex. Allison, because she wants Allison to put the moves on C's and get C's away from Miss Kitty, who is there looking very cute. Okay, let me tell y'all something. Miss Kitty gives me life most of the time. I gotta tell y'all, okay? Her, you know, her head and her makeup and her clothes. The bitch be giving me life. I ain't gonna lie. You know, they're going in on Kitty once again, you know, because you fucking him. We know you fucking him. And, and I don't know why Sky felt the need to do this, but Sky just outs all, <laughs> all of Caesar's business. I just brought my friend Allison because I know y'all just went on a date. And then I know y'all was back at the apartment. And I know, my nigga, you know what you doing? You doing a lot of fucking around here, my nigga. You doing a lot of fucking. And I was just like, oh, my God, bitch. You could never be my homegirl. What the fuck? <laughs> like, why would you out my shit like that? Oh, my God. And then, to me, the thing that's fucked up is that the Allison bitch is just sitting there like, like, bitch, do you have a post? Do you know what's going on right now? Like, she's not affected at all. When Sky grabbed her first, she grabbed her first. Let me tell you something. I, I, I think Allison is a beautiful girl. She's a little thin. She's a little thin. Um, anyway, y'all, uh, ain't hating on it at all. Gorgeous girl, okay? I fuck you. But I'm just saying, like, if I had to choose between the two, I might lean a little bit further than Miss Kitty just because she don't overdo it so much. Think old girl kind of overdo it. And why is you following behind Sky like that? The thing that confuses me most is why she doesn't understand that she's the one that does the disrespecting, which is why she has never been able to get the management position because she reacts exactly how she reacted at this moment. When C stands up and says that he is expanding and he's going to have shops in other, uh, other states, and a part of this is having Kitty be at 113 to help them, you know, understanding that they need to respect her and that she's a brand ambassador and she's trying to make all of my shops cohesive you know because i like what she did at 125th now they don't seem to understand this they're not liking it so they're not reacting good to this shit they think it's another duchess situation but i kind of feel like he probably would have told her to do that whether they fucked or not because she's the person that did that you know what i'm saying it's not like there's no work going you know involved even though bitch all you had was the champagne glasses and how to answer the phone even though, bitch, you did need that lesson on how to answer the phone. What the fuck was that? Like, nobody needs a paragraph before you get to the how can I help you part. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, <clears throat> Sky get pissed off, pulls the tablecloth down to the floor, all the dishes. I was like, nah, bitch, fuck you. Because the people in the back got to clean all that shit up. <laughs> okay? At the end of the day, they ain't got to clean that up. Them people that work back there got to clean that up. And you just dragged all the fucking dishes and glasses and food on the floor. What the fuck, Sky? <sighs> Y'all, that bitch exhausts the fuck out of me. Like, because you want to be there for her, man. <laughs> you want to be there for her. That she do shit like this. And it's just like, my nigga, how do you ever expect it to, to, to get, you know, to, to handle more, you know, responsibility when you can't handle just this? And this ain't even a responsibility. This like, bitch, we about to do some branding. This bitch gonna come over to help. That does not mean she's, a, you know, she's a manager, but you need to just take the shit with a grain of salt. Stop feeling played by other people getting opportunities that you not getting when you don't know how to fucking act. Learn how to act. Stop fighting everybody. Stop pulling all the dishes off the fucking table. Stop screaming and hollering every time we go somewhere. Help, help, help us, help us. Jesus. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, my mama. Oh, my who. I look fly.